Let's start with Tony Storm. Because she's had a few matches involving her daughter, Charlotte, mm-hmm. including a singles match Friday on SmackDown. She's kind of new to the big time, but she's okay, isn't she? Those matches yeah, she's were great. all right. Yeah, she's more than okay. She's really good. What do you like about her? Well, I like her look, um, and I, you know, I've, I've done a little homework on her. Um, I think that she pretty caught the attention of a lot of people at that all-woman's pay-per-view in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Right, I think you're right. And um, she's got that good look, and uh, sh- she's athletic, and uh, you know she carries herself very professionally. I, 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 I like her a lot. Yeah, I agree with the last part you said the most. You, you look at her, and she looks like she belongs. She Ab- carries absolutely, herself. Absolutely. She walks the walk. She She's a little green on promos, but you can yeah. tell she'll get well, better. You, the, once again, that's, that, that's attributed to lack of time and lack of experience, and not having wrestled. It takes a lot of time and a lot of practice, to, and it takes multiple matches with different people to, to, le- to raise the level of skills. But for the time she's been in the business, when I see her now, I think she fits in. I think she's going to be a big star for the company for years to come. I, I and, agree. Now, now, that begs the question, is it harder or easier for girls coming up, uh, women, I should say, in wrestling, as opposed to the men. It seems like there might be more opportunity for the women if you can find a way to make yourself stand out. Mm, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I, well, you know, I, I, I have to be honest with you, going right down, it's hard for either one. Does it make sense? Well, yeah, I mean, but I, I, I look at AEW where I think they, I mean, I love Britt Baker. I think, I think the Doc's one of the top women performers in wrestling uh, right now, you know, in the top three, in my opinion, easily. But but I don't know what they have past her. And I, I think if any one of the women at the next level can find a way again to make herself stand out, she could slot in as a solid number two for, for, for months and years to come. You're talking about Tori now? No, no, I'm talking about, uh, about AEW, the, the oh. girls below Britt Baker. Yeah. Um... I, I'm not sure. I, I, I'd have to. I'd have to look at that more carefully. I, I know. I know what you mean. It's tough because. It, yeah. You know. You know what? I, I've ca- I've called Britt Baker fabulous moolah. Yeah. Uh, because she's there. I, I don't want to say by herself, but they need to find a consistent number two, number three that she can have meaningful dialogue with. And I'm not so sure there's anybody there. A lot of people like Thunder Rosa. I'm not as sold on her as some. I don't know. That's kind of a kind of a work in, in progress now. Uh, now, when you were a top guy having a match with somebody who was, I don't want to say Tony Storm's green, but she's less experienced than your daughter, certainly. Mm-hmm. When you were a top guy having a match with an up-and-comer who had potential but was less experienced, how did you approach that? What did you tell him? How much did you take over? How much did you give him? Well, I gave as much as I gave him. First of all, I told him to just listen to me, which is nothing that's allowed now. And I said, let's hear the crowd. Let's see where we're going. And I gave them as much as they could possibly take. Because I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I like selling. I like feeding the guy. If, if, the, if the guy had the ability, it's like, I'll give you an example of a guy that never has gotten his due for how good he was. But I had, I had great matches with him. Brad Armstrong. Yep, no question. So let, let's say, let's say that she is Brad Armstrong right? And I'm Charlotte. It's a question of listening, taking your time, feeling comfort, getting to know each other. And I'm sure she's very confident when she goes to the ring that she knows that she's under not only the, not only the, the wing, or, but, but the experience and the knowledge you know, of the woman I consider to be the greatest female wrestler of all time. No question. No question she is and, not. And, I, I'll, and I'll bet you $1,000 if, it, 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 if she has worked with her two or three times or five times on the road, she'll, it, it'll, it'll, like I say, it'll either be her or Sasha. You know I, what I mean? I I'm agree. I think Tony story. Storm, given experience in the ring with women like your daughter and Sasha, yeah. I think is really going to blossom. But you need to get that. You need to get it on the road. You need yeah, to get and, it in house shows. Yeah, and there are Nat, many house Nat, shows. Natty Nyhart can teach her a lot. I mean, it, you know, there are just some people out there that you can learn from faster than others. And that, uh, I think between Charlotte and Sasha and Natty Nyhart and 
who am I leaving out of that? I mean, it's just, well, there's, only, there's only a few people that really are good enough to cheat you while you're, while you're working live on TV. Well, Natty, Natty heard how complimentary we were of her on last week's podcast and uh, reacted on Twitter, but uh, very much deserved. I, I can't say enough good about Natty Neidhart. No, and, and, she, and, and like I said, she's a, she's a great teacher as well. Now, we talked about Tully Blanchard earlier. How come Tessa Blanchard, his daughter, can't get a look with the major promotion? Because I know she has a bad rep. She said some unfortunate things, but boy, I think her talent is overwhelming. I've, I've never seen her work. Really? No. Oh, she's brilliant. Yeah. She'd be a great... I, 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 I keep hearing that, but I haven't seen her. So I... Um, I mean, I've, I've heard, obviously, but it's not... You're not the only person to ever say how great she is. I just haven't seen her work. Well, you see, I'd like to see her... I, I, against... I, met, her, I met her one time, and she's a lovely girl. Of course, I would, I've known her forever from, from growing up, you know, but I, I, I've never seen her work. Well, I'd like to see her against Ashley, against Charlotte, because... I think physically she can com compete with her, give that impression visually. I think the one thing about Ashley is she's such a great athlete and, and looks the part that, that, you know, but she's she's great at selling, so she gives her opponents that credibility. But it would be nice if more came in with that built in. Don't you agree? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one, of those, one of those marquee matches. I, I don't know the reasons. I don't know why she's not there. Um, I've heard the same kind of stuff you have, but, I mean, I don't, I take everything like that with a grain of salt, which you have to in this business because, you know, she could be the most lovely woman in the world and people have some personal you know, agenda against them. But no, I've heard she's really good and I think it'd be great um, to see a Blanchard flare match. So who, who wouldn't, right? No if, question. If, she, if, if she's as good as they say she is.